Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and I just want to welcome you to my live. I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. Um, and I wanted to welcome you if it's your first time here. Uh, my name is Patty Dolan. I'm a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have a blog and YouTube. If you look for PS Paper Crafts, you'll find me. And I wanted to show you how to make this Dutch door fun fold card for Christmas. It looks very masculine to me with this paper. And this paper is a free celebration item. So celebration goes through the end of this month, September 30th, and um, you can get free items. So this one is free with a $50 purchase and you can get these papers. And let me show you. Again, they're very kind of rustic and masculine. I think this is my favorite pattern for some reason. I just love it. So there's uh, some stripes and the deer, and I believe the deer punch out with the punch that you can get um, with the coordinating stamp set and punch that comes in a bundle from the mini catalog. And let me show you that. I didn't buy this. I'm a paper girl. I love designer series paper. So I, um, I just always buy whatever paper there is. I'm just looking, bringing it up here on my computer to see if anybody joined. So anyway, on page 26, this uh, stamp set and bundle coordinate with that paper very nicely. So the paper will be gone the end of the month. If you wanted to get it, you need to place a purchase. You can go to my online store. You can find that at my blog. And I'll have links in, I'll put this in um, YouTube as well as on face, Facebook. So Anyway, let's get started with the card. I have um, basic black cardstock, and this is a half a sheet of uh, eight and a half by 11, so I just cut it right in half. And let me get my trimmer out. So I'm going to do my normal scoring at four and a quarter. So I'm using my scoring blade on my trimmer. And then I'll lift that up, we'll move the scoring blade down. And we want to cut just up to this line at two and three quarters. And I'll have all the measurements on my blog, again, PSPaperCrafts.com. And I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna pick it up just to show you. There's a little line here, and that tells you where the blade is. And I may get my head in here a little bit. <laughs> so I'm at two and three quarters. I'm gonna move this blade down till the line lines up with my score line. And I really need it to be over it, but that's okay. And then we want to cut from here up. So we want to um, have this top part cut off. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this score line right in the groove and I'm gonna move this and line up. I'm gonna look over on this side, line it up right to the score line and cut it up. Now, if it's off a little bit, now oh, see it came off. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just snip it a little bit. So we have our base done. Let's put this aside. And then this is the piece that we'll put up here. So this is our kind of the, the Dutch door look. Okay. Oh, and actually we do need some more cutting. So I'm using a piece, and as I said, I don't have the stamp set. So I want to get a piece of the paper, the designer series paper. And this is actually, let me just show you. This is actually this right here. And you kind of have to figure it out. Now this could be a little bit bigger. I thought it was okay with the big black border. But if I went any bigger, I would have had other deer in there. So <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. But you can also um, punch this or, um, you know, cut it, just the deer out. But I wanted it to sit nicely on this piece here. So what we're going to do, and this piece ended up cutting to um, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So what I'm going to do is just cut off the bottom and hopefully this will come out right just kind of play with it so I'm going to just cut right at this deer's head sorry <laughs> Mr. Deer and then we want to cut it to 
three and three quarters. So let me put it this way. Three and three quarters. I'm just looking at my little notes here. And then you could have another one here. So you can get a bunch of them out of this. And you get two sheets of every pattern. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then we want to cut two and a quarter. So I'm going to just kind of, and this is what I did. I just really tried to make it tight right up against the deer surrounding it. And if it's off a little bit, so this would be two and one quarter would be right here. So we might get a little bit of that foot in there, but I think that's okay. So it's not exact. I think on this one, I have a little tiny bit of the deer there, um, but I think that's okay. Or we could just snip it off. It doesn't have to be the exact size. Just cut it to a size that, you know, looks good and shows the deer. All right. I hope that didn't confuse you too much. Okay, so now this piece will lie in here. And again, it's a big border. But before we do that, we want to do our very merry um, sentiment. And the sentiments, I'm trying to look for the stamp set that I used. I use the, um, I have it over on the side. I use the sentiments from the sweet little stockings. I just wanted a very small uh, one that would fit in here and hopefully this will fit. It's a little bit different. I think it'll fit okay. So I cut it a little bit different size, but I think we're okay with it. And let's just do this on a piece of scrap just to make sure we're all good and inked up. Very merry. So let's, I'm actually going to put it right here. Okay, so that's this piece. And then I want, this will be the inside piece. So a lot of times people have this as a white piece. Um, and then, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I write my card, I have my card open and I start writing and then I close it. I'm like, oh, I have two, you know, Mary up here. So I really wanted to have a piece inside and it's just a little tiny bit smaller than the black piece. And I'm using the Christmas greetings. And of course it's straight across and it's way too big for this. So I did um, a little bit of masking. So I just take a, a post-it note and I'm gonna cover the greetings part. So I just get the Christmas part. So we just wanna cover that up, get this straight, ink it up very important to take this off or you're going to get that ink all over your card and then just center it there we go now we want to clean this especially with red ink so this is real red ink that I use and you want to make sure it is good and clean and you don't have any residue from the Christmas so I'm going to just test it out by stamping it because sometimes the red ink stays beyond. <laughs> now we want to do the opposite. So we're just going, and you could use a separate piece of post-it note if you'd like. And we just want to get the greetings. And what's nice is this is photopolymer, so you can really line it up. So we'll take this off and throw that away. So now we want to do the greetings. So you have a little room to write your two in your little message. And let's put this aside and close this up. So we're done with our stamping, not a lot of stamping there. So let's put our card together. I'm gonna to start with the outs, the, uh, the back. So I'm going to adhere this and I'll use some liquid glue. Isn't that pretty? Reminds me of a, I think a shirt I had <laughs> at one point, the pattern. But I love this kind of rustic look. I think it's really pretty. So we're just going to put this down. And you can do this for any, any kind of card. It doesn't have to be Christmas. And what's nice with the designer series paper is you always get 
a lot of patterns that coordinate together nicely. So you get kind of basic patterns and then you get floral patterns. Okay, so you don't want to put this down until we put the rest of the card together. So I'm going to put this down. This is the back side of the deer. And we'll put this down. And I just went like an eighth of an inch up. I think it's an eighth of an inch. I'll have all of the sizes on my blog so you don't have to worry about trying to figure it out. So this piece will go on here. So let's put this down. And it just reminds me of, I don't know, being in the woods, <laughs> deer hunting. When I lived up north, it was always a big deal when hunting season began. Schools were closed and um, people were away and uh, it was pretty cool. Let's get this up here. And I know it's probably hard to see on my black. Let me get this in here so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. We just want a little bit of a ridge on the black, just poking out. And you know, you could put the, the pattern paper right on the card, but I feel like the white just gives it a little bit of pop. So we, here we have this, and let's put these together. Very easy to, uh, to put this card together. And it's kind of cool, you know, a little bit different. I think it would sit nice on a shelf at Christmas if people, you know, put all their Christmas cards out. This would look really pretty. So we want this here, and we want to make sure that this falls behind it. So again, this is just a tad smaller than this. So I don't know, it's a little bit difficult to get it all lined up, and that's why I like using the liquid glue. So let's put this down, and you only want to put glue on the bottom. Otherwise you'll glue the whole thing shut. So let's put this, I want it kind of centered top to bottom, left to right. Okay, and then let's put some glue on this and try to get it lined up. All right. So I'm actually just going to wing it, see if that looks good, close it up, it's a little bit off, I can move it, there we go, does it look even and straight, yep, perfect. So this is the card, I think they're really pretty, oh, and I have to put some bling on it. So there's a lot of different reds you can use, I use the um, Holiday Rhinestones, and this is a new pack. I have a couple of left. I guess I use a lot of red. So I have a couple in two different places here. And we'll use your take your pick tool. And I'll just pick some up. And I don't know if you know, follow me at all. You know I have a hard time with the, the whole random thing of uh, where to put these things. So let's put another one down. Okay, is that random enough? I don't know. <laughs> you decide. Um, so anyway, thanks again if you join me live. If not, you can uh, catch me on a replay. And if you wanted to get the instructions, go to uh, www.pspapercrafts.com and you'll see this there. You can find me on YouTube and um, you can click the link to shop for these products um, on my blog and uh, get the free celebration item. All right. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Bye.